what is the thing that he can put extra on your music? I don't know. <laughs> it's always a really embarrassing question for me because I'm not quite sure what it is that Brian does. Um, I mean, he doesn't play very much. Um, I always mix my albums. Um, so I guess it has something to do with the fact when he puts himself into a work situation, he just changes the parameters of what you're doing more by verbalizing different approaches to what one does. So it's more, it's more a kind of a philosophic content with Brian than, than, than a, a kind of a didactic, musicianly kind of overall control. Um, he's very good at what ifing. He'll say, what if you were to do this, or what if you were to do that, and possibly come up with a, a new, new choices of avenues to take that maybe we you know, wouldn't otherwise have thought of. So at that, he's, very, he's really important in the uh, very early stages of making an album, because he can set it on a path uh, that will be unusual. Um, and that's where he tends to feel happiest, I think, in the uh, inception of making an album. He's, like me, has a very short attention span. I think once he's done a few days' work, he... Well, I'm off now, and <laughs> he'll go off somewhere else. And then the next bit is... I am with Nay, hey. OK. One, two, three, four. I am with Nay, hey. I am with Mona Ray Stone. And she shall say... Outside really came from Brian and I. We've got very since the 70s. There's a museum near to where I live in Switzerland called uh, La Brut, which was uh, I think it was started by Dubuffet, the painter. Um, and in the late 70s, Brian and I would go there a lot and look at the um, stuff there because it was uh, it's quite bizarre the, the presentations there and the paintings. It's from that genre of art, which is now called outsider art. Um, people who are in solitude or ostracized, maybe self-inflicted or institutionalized, they were very strong influences on Dubuffet, and Dubuffet kind of built this museum as like guilt payback <laughs> and, and put, put a number of these people in. And it was the, it was the, there's a sense of uh, the non-judgmental about the work, the, the people who painted from some real inner need to throw everything out in such a way that they had no, they were indifferent to whether the work was ever seen or not. So it comes from a place that I think there are very few painters or artists that I'm aware of, that I know and have met, who actually paint and then after they finish painting who are indifferent to what people think of it. Uh, we all feel as though we should get some comment on our work. But this work gets, gets to a place which is really, really strange and insular and, out, and outside. Mm. And I guess that that was sort of, that became our buzzword for the album. That was trying to resuscitate that same sense of uh, being on the periphery of the mainstream rather than being right in the center. We have 